Please be seated, everyone. Before we begin the ceremony, may I ask everyone to silence their cell phones. Friends and family members of Lauren and Alex, we are gathered today to celebrate their wedding and to embark on the beginning of a lifelong journey that we hope to share with them in many weeks and months and years to come. As you might have noticed, we are gathered today under a chapa. That's why we silence cell phones in the beginning. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> we are gathered today under the chapa, which is a Jewish tradition of a wedding canopy that reminds us of the tent-dwelling nomadic days in the desert many thousands of years ago. Historically, Jewish wedding ceremonies were held outdoors and the chuppah created an intimate, sanctified space. It also symbolizes the couple's new home together, which will be open on all sides to welcome family and friends and to offer hospitality to those in need. We are here with some of the most important people in Lauren and Alex's life. And from a young age, Lauren and Alex's parents both instilled in them the importance of family and friends and community. So they are so thankful to have their closest family and friends here with them on such an important day. Lauren and Alex love and prioritize family and friends and community above so many other things. Uh, they even bought a house next door to Alex's parents. <laughs> Uh, for which Lauren says, no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> but we're also here in gratitude for Lauren and Alex's parents and family and everyone that has brought them here to this wonderful day. We are so grateful, and let me express on their behalf their gratitude for all of the love and support that have made this day possible. In the run-up to the wedding, as I was preparing the ceremony, I asked Lauren and Alex to share with me a little bit about what they see in one another and how they came to embark on this journey together and what their love story is like. Lauren said, what drew me to Alex initially was how he didn't take life too seriously. We balance each other out and I'm so thankful to go through life with someone who never fails to comfort me or make me laugh. Alex says, what drew me to Lauren initially was how kind she was to everyone. To this day, Alex says, he still describes her as the sweetest person who's always putting others before herself. I'm grateful, says Alex, to be with someone so selfless, and I'm trying to grow in a similar way. Both Lauren and Alex value so much support from one another. Lauren feels Alex's support while she tries to balance work and her master's degree and uh, they're three dogs, by the way. <laughs> and Alex feels Lauren's support after she pushes him outside of his comfort zone and helps him to grow. <laughs> they really value being one another's best friend. They both told me they're the first person they want to share news with and that they're really thankful to come home to one another at the end of challenging days. And I know you can look forward to that source of support and strength as a permanent fixture in your lives moving forward. Both Lauren and Alex tell me that they are looking forward so much to the future, whatever it entails, and they know that as long as they have one another, they'll be okay. And we know that too. And it is such a privilege to be here to celebrate them and solemnize their marriage in this beautiful space full of beautiful friends and family and the people that are closest to them. Every night, Lauren and Alex ask each other what their favorite part of the day was. I hope this ceremony counts as their favorite part of the day today. <laughs> <laughs> they told me they've been doing this for a year and they haven't even missed a night. It helps remind them that they have so much to be thankful for. And it helps them remember to appreciate the little moments in life. Many of their favorite moments, they said, have to do with each person in this room 
and they want you to all know how incredibly thankful they are for each of you. So to help Lauren and Alex solemnize their wedding, we have readings from people who are close to them. We have a reading, first of all, from Jody Goodman, the sister of the bride. I can't look at you because you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Should though. It's okay. <laughs> now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be the shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be the warmth for the other. Now there will be no more loneliness. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. May your days together be good and long upon the earth. Treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration, difficulty, and fear assail your relationship, as they threaten all relationships at one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not only the part which seems wrong. In this way, you can ride out the storms when clouds hide the face of the sun in your lives, remembering that even when you lose sight of it, for a moment the sun is still there. And each of you, if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and love. Oh, love you. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Thank you Jody. <laughs> now a reading from Irene Craddock, the mother of the groom. Marriage is sharing as husband and wife. Magic of meaning love brings to life is laughing about funny moments you've both known and looking back fondly on the ways you have both grown. It's being a couple and best friends. It's loving each other in all that you do with a bond that grows sweeter your whole life through. Love is cherished by the rings on your hand it is commitment for better or for worse, through sickness and in health, richer and poorer. It is forgiveness, even when whoever is wrong, that is love. It's never going to sleep angry. It's saying I love you more than three times a day. Love is amazing. It means so much. Two hearts become one. It's fulfillment, fulfillment and respect. And manages all of these rolled into one. Thank you. And now we come to the very important part of the ceremony. We're going to ask Lauren and Alan for a Lauren and Alex for a declaration of intent, in which they are going to publicly acknowledge their intent to become husband and wife. We're going to ask them to say their wedding vows to one another, and then we're going to conclude with the exchange of rings and the breaking of the glass. So let's first begin with the declaration of intent. Do you, Alex, take Lauren to be your lawfully wedded spouse? I do. Do you, Lauren, take Alex to be your lawfully wedded spouse? I do. And now the vows. I ask each of you to repeat after me in turn. We're going to start with Alex. Lauren, I take you to be my partner. Lauren, I take you to be my partner. I pledge to be your best friend, your confidant, and your biggest supporter. I pledge to be your best friend, your confidant, your biggest supporter. I'll work to create a life filled with love, laughter, and respect. I love. I work to create, I work a, life to create a life with, with love, life. laughter, and respect. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. It's okay. <laughs> I promise to grow old with you. I promise to grow old with you. Cherishing each day along the way. Cherishing each day along the way. Now, Lauren, please repeat after me. Alex, I take you to be my partner. Alex, I take you to be my partner. I pledge to be your best friend, your confidant, and your biggest supporter. I pledge to be your best friend, your confidant, and your biggest supporter. I'll work to create a life filled with love, laughter, and respect. I'll work to create a life of love, laughter, and respect. I promise to grow old with you. I promise to grow old with you. Cherishing each day 
along the way. Cherishing each day along the way. May I have the rings, please? I think I can guess whose is whose. <laughs> These rings, which are circular, have long been a symbol of marriage. They symbolize our aspirations for a bond that, just like a circle, never ends and always goes on and on and finds new strength every day. They also symbolize the publicness of marriage as a sign that we wear to show our bond and our love and our commitment to our friends and family and community. So as before, we'll ask Alex to start. Alex, will you take the ring? And place it on Lauren's ring finger, and you can say, with this ring, I take you as my wife. With this ring, I take you as my wife. Lauren, take this ring and place it on Alex's ring finger and say, Alex, with this ring, I take you as my husband. Alex, with this ring, I take you as my husband. <laughs> and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, friends, there are two more steps for the conclusion of our ceremony. I'm going to talk about the glass that we're going to stomp on and part of that Jewish tradition. But before that, so we can end on a high note and all saying Mazel Tov, I have one public service announcement. That is about photographs. So, Lauren and Alex will be taking family photos, and they've requested the following people remain behind and meet and congregate outside on the lawn, outside the chapel doors at the end of the ceremony. Uh, if you're not required for photos, you are welcome to go on to Anna's for the reception. And we'll all see you there where we'll all be able to celebrate together. Okay, those requested for photos, Lisa, Rick, Lev, Ari, Richard, Kathy, Emily, Malcolm, James, Jessica, Dale, Olivia, Amy, Jody, Ellen, Abigail, Louisa, Esme, Deb, George, Amy, Lee, Irene, Tom, Courtney, um, Kaylee, Christian, Beth, and Tom. If you are not on that list, you are welcome to go straight to the reception, and we'll see you there. If you are on the list, we look forward to capturing your image on this day for all of eternity. <laughs> <laughs> and we have one more step. So those of you who have been to a Jewish wedding before, might know about this tradition. But just as a refresher, in here is a glass. And traditionally, Jewish weddings end um, with the bride or groom, or sometimes the groom, but in this case, it's going to be both Lauren and, Anne, and Alex stomping on the glass. So why do we do this? Well, a long time ago, uh, there's a story that at a wedding that was getting particularly out of hand, uh, a rabbi got really upset and he smashed a glass on the ground and said, I don't know why everyone's partying, don't you remember the destruction of the temple so long ago? Uh, which sounds really kind of sad and negative to interrupt a party like that. <laughs> but we do do this tradition because we think that there's a valuable lesson here, which is that even in times that are happy and wonderful times for our family and for ourselves, there are also people who are hurting. And we're part of a community, we're part of a world, where people are hurting. So even in times of our greatest happiness, we remember that. We remember the bonds that join us to a world of happiness and sadness and joy and grief. And that as we become a married couple, we become part of that world. And we become part of that world of complicated grown-up things, like holding in mind at the same time that the world can be a sad place and it can also be a joyful place. And I don't think people would be ready to get married if they weren't ready to understand the complexity of what it means to hold all that in our minds at the same time. But Lauren and Alex can. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope that we can too. So as I put this glass on the ground, they're going to smash it, and we're all going to say Mazel Tov to celebrate their wedding, and we're going to remember that we'll be here for them in the good times and the bad times, the times of grief, the times of happiness and joy, but today is a joyful day, and we'll show that 
by saying mazel tov and clapping and cheering for them once they step on this glass. And then we'll all watch everyone process out and we'll all have a wonderful time this evening. Thank you all for being here to celebrate this wedding and to celebrate Lauren and Alex and their future together. Okay, on the count of three. One, do this two, size. three. Oh, okay.